Manchester United were in action again this week in the Champions League against Benfica, but Jose Mourinho will have more than one eye on that game against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. And that's why I think Man United are going to be heavily rotated for this game against Benfica. Because we've won our first three games in the Champions League, we've given ourselves the leeway to maybe rest a few key players ahead of Chelsea and make sure we're 100% fit for that match. So here is my predicted start 11 for the game against Benfica. In goal, Sergio Romero. No other reason than to give David De Gea a night off. At right back, I'm going for Axel Tuanzebe for the same reason in giving Antonio Valencia a night off. He had burnout towards the end of last season. We can't let that happen again. So in matches like this, if we can rest Valencia, we should rest Valencia. And the same goes for our two centre-backs. That's why I'm bringing in Victor Lindelof and Chris Smalling. Man United kept a clean sheet against Spurs at the weekend. But I, we need Jones and Bay ready and fit 100% for that game against Chelsea. That's why I'm bringing Lindelof and Smalling in. And Lindelof, he needs a game to sort of turn around that terrible performance he had against Huddersfield. He's had a shaky start to life at Manchester United. But playing at home against the club he signed from, maybe that's the sort of match where Lindelof can show his real, real form. The sort of talent that brought him to Manchester United in the first place. And at left back, you can see Luke Shaw's name is there. Probably wrong about it. But why not give Luke Shaw the opportunity? You're not going to play Ashley Young, who was a fantastic against Spurs, but you're not going to play him just so he's ready for that game against Chelsea. Maybe you play Matteo Dami in there instead, but why not give Shaw the chance, Mourinho? What's the worst he can do? He can either prove himself right or wrong. If he proves himself right, you've got an excellent left back on your hands. If he proves himself wrong, shows that you're correct to maybe let him go in the summer. But you can't really do that unless you give the guy starts and opportunities to prove himself. In midfield, I'm going for Michael Carrick and Ander Herrera resting Nemanja Matic, who I think is going to be crucial against Chelsea. With Paul Pogba likely to be missing from that game, nobody knows if Marouane Fellaini is fit to return or not either as well. Matic is the midfielder we have that's in form, that's dominating games, and we need him to have a fantastic performance against Chelsea. And Herrera, bang out of form at the moment. There's no hiding. And Herrera is playing poorly, not living up to the sort of levels that won in Player of the Year last year. And I'm playing Michael Carrick alongside him. Carrick hasn't played many games, but a home game in the Champions League against Benfica at Old Trafford seems like a perfect time to use Michael Carrick. Now, for a front attack in four, we've got plenty of options in attack. That's why I'm playing Jesse Lingard on the right, Juan Mata in the middle, Anthony Martial on the left, and Romelu Lukaku up front. I don't think Lukaku have to do much running around. It's not going to strike me as a game where Manchester United need to attack that much. That's why I'm playing him and not giving him a rest, because I would rather rest Marcus Rashford. Out on the left, Martial played wonderful against Spurs at the weekend. Small cameo for him, but he should be fit and ready to play against uh, Benfica on uh, Tuesday, I think we're playing them. Uh, and why matter in the middle, we didn't start. Henry Mkhitaryan started, but Mkhitaryan is so out of form at the moment, isn't he? So surprised what we've seen from the Armenian, who's got like six assists in August, but has since gone well off the boil. Don't know what needs to happen to improve his form. Maybe he needs Popper to return from injury, but I'm going to play one matter there. Lingard on the right-hand side, he came on and made a difference against Spurs. Could have and should have scored to make it 2-0, but his movement off the ball was so crucial to creating space for Manchester United in attack. That's why I'm playing him. And as I said, Lukaku up front. Now that is it for my start 11 prediction. In terms of the preview, there's not much to preview because Man United played Spurs at the weekend. We know everything that's gone on there. Jose Mourinho will be speaking to the press at some point today. So maybe there'll be updates later on today. But Man United just need to make sure that we get past Benfica. They're a team that's bang out of form this year. We saw how poor they were when we played them in Portugal early a couple of weeks ago. Man United need to just make sure that this is a very professional performance. A bit like the Spurs game. We were comfortable the whole match. We are control of the game for the majority of the match. And we won 1-0. The exact same sort of performance against Benfica before Chelsea, perfect. That's exactly what Manchester United need. My prediction for the game, I'm going to go for exactly that. A 1-0. Not going to be first on any Champions League highlight videos. Not going to be first on any Champions League highlight reels. But Manchester United just need to get past Benfica with no injuries, no concerns, no fuss, and make it confident. And we're so good at home in, this, well, in the Premier League as well. So good at home this season that I am confident of a 1-0 win. That's my prediction and that is my starting 11 prediction for the game. What's yours? Leave it in the comments as always. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Take it easy.